Question number two, Todd Muller. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My uh, question is to the order. Order. There will be less uh, interchange between one particular minister and one deputy leader of the opposition. I call in question number two. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks: What recent reports has he seen on growth in the New Zealand economy? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, this morning Statistics New Zealand released the economic growth figures for the December quarter and for the 2016 calendar year. Growth for the quarter was 0.4 per cent and the average growth for the year was 3.1 per cent. And that figure is encouraging and demonstrates the benefits of government's focus on developing a strong open economy so hardworking families can get ahead. While growth has softened in this later quarter, GDP per capita has risen 0.9 per cent over the last year. This continuing steady trend of growth is consistently delivering more prosperity for New Zealanders in relation to other developed countries. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Todd Muller. Supplementary to the Minister. How many quarters of continuous growth has New Zealand now recorded? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, today's figures add to the lengthening story of good growth experienced by New Zealand uh, since the global financial crisis. We have now had continuous growth for the last 15 quarters, and in fact New Zealand has had only one quarter of negative growth during the last six years. That's fantastic. This week's statistics on economic growth and also our external account figures announced yesterday show the benefit of the government's sensible, consistent economic management. Supplementary. Uh, Order. Supplementary question, Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. What contribution are the construction and tourism sectors making to the New Zealand continuous economic growth? Excellent the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, today's growth figures highlight the impressive uh, growth in the construction sector in the last year. Construction activity grew 1.8 per cent in the quarter and 10.5 per cent over the calendar year. That's the fastest rate of growth in construction since 2004, which is 12 years ago. In addition, the overall growth of spending in New Zealand was boosted by strong tourism spending, which was up 5.1 per cent in the last quarter. The success of the services industries and construction sector make up for the softening across our primary sectors and their associated manufacturing, and that demonstrates the increasing diversification of the New Zealand economy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabuto. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, why then did the Reserve Bank Governor Wheeler agree with, agree with Mr Peters last December that the economy is only treading water once mass immigration is subtracted, and I quote, if where you are heading is to say, look, in terms of GDP growth, it's a lot less impressive, that's indeed correct. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, I think we'd have to have a good look at the uh, quotations uh, attributed uh, last when, December, uh, to Mr Peters and the Reserve Bank Governor. Uh, but actually, Reserve Bank's view of New Zealand's growth has been that it is strong and will continue to be so over the next two years and they name our biggest risks as what's happening in the world economy outside of New Zealand. And that's a very rare thing. And in fact, with the long experience of Mr Peters, I don't think he's seen uh, a situation where the New Zealand domestic economy has been so strong uh, relative to the world economy. Supplementary. Order. Order. Supplementary question, Todd Muller. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what reaction does he expect from commentators interested in the details of New Zealand's growth? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, I find that different commentators have different measures they are interested in, indeed, in different quarters. So one commentator in particular has historically been very interested in real gross national disposable income. Well, I have good news for Mr Robertson. Real growth, uh, gross national disposable income increased 2.8% in the December quarter and up 4.1% per the year. So I look forward to him highlighting his concerns in that regard. Oh, there is a question. Supp supplement order. Order, Mr Brownlee, thank you. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is it correct that eight 
of the 15 sectors measured by Stats New Zealand for GDP had falls in the last quarter? The Hon. Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, it is, and which showed, as I said at the outset of the uh, question, that we have seen a softening of growth in that quarter, but actually over the year we have grown faster than the UK, faster than Europe, faster than Japan, faster than the US, faster than Australia, faster than Canada, which I think is probably a good thing from New Zealand's perspective. Order. You? Order. You might like this one. Supplementary question, David Seymour. You never know. Uh, what is the level of private debt within the New Zealand economy, and how does that compare with New Zealand's public debt? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I don't have those figures exactly to hand for the member, but I'd be more than happy to supply them to him. If he'd like to give me a ring afterwards, I'll happily provide them uh, in relation to those numbers. Uh, given that this is a question on GDP growth, perhaps we'll deal with debt next time. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabuto. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. If the Minister told Mr Peters just yesterday, and I quote, actually the last time they were quite good, I think GDP per capita was over 1%. Is it still quite good, given that GDP fell 0.2% this quarter, which now represents a full half percent deterioration? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, I stand by my comments. GDP per capita growth for the year is 0.9 per cent, just under 1 per cent. I think the member's got to be careful not to look at those quarterly numbers too much because you deal with fairly minor changes quarter by quarter. It's always a good idea to focus on the annual numbers, uh, and that's what I tend to do. Question number three, Barbara Stewart. 